Welcome back guys to Gizmo 305 as you guys can tell today is the unboxing and the review that I have for you guys today of the Hardy Boys Team Extreme Matt and Jeff I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to do this unboxing since I posted on my Instagram that I've gotten this guys man I've been waiting to show you guys this figures and man I'm so excited I've been so anxious to open them I want to get my hands on them I also have the Elite 57 Hardy coming on the mail guys I'm so excited for that and I also do have the uh, entrance grates so I'm gonna do that one in a different video I'm gonna review both of those separately but right now let's focus into this epic moments this new line of elite figures which is what we asked from Mattel for a long time we wanted a set like a battle pack but with elites and they said we don't know if it's ever going to happen because of cost. We don't know if we'll ever make a battle pack with elites. But Mattel finally decided to do so. And man, did they ever pick the guys to do it with to start this line. They did it with uh, the Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens, the Festival of Friendship, and the Hardy Boys. Guys, I'm so excited. I can't wait to rip through this box and show you guys uh, everything inside. So... Let me just open it up and put everything out and let's start reviewing this figures which also as you can tell come with the first time and the only way that you can get this right now is the make of this video the only way you can get those raw tag team titles so so exciting guys so so pumped so let's get it opening with this figures and uh let's start the review Alright guys, and everything that you see in front of you now has been pulled out of the box so you see what you do get in this box and just with the accessories itself as you can tell you do get the value of this package like you do get four sets of ladders you get the two tall ones in the back and you get the two smaller ones on the side you also get the tag team the raw tag team titles the first time in any figure in any way that you can get those raw tag team titles i do want to point out though they were supposed to come out with the lead 56 gallows and anderson but i think mattel held off because they wanted to make this pack a lot more special and just hold off for those titles so that you had to buy this pack and i mean it's already a must buy who does not want to have the hardies you you know they knew they were going to sell them no matter what but it's just always great to have something you know extra so the tag team titles is an epic uh way to market this product and at the same time it just adds more to the value so we're going to start reviewing actually the tag titles because I'm talking about them but I just want to show you up close. They are the same as the Smackdown ones that you would get the blue ones. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it this way so that you guys can see. As you guys can see there, it's the same thing. You just get a red color strap. That's all. Nothing special about them, but man, they look amazing. Once you have them on your figures, you can put this on your Sheamus, on your Cesaros, because as of right now, as the make of this video, they are the Raw Tag Team Champions. So now you have that. You also have the ladders, which are on the back. I mean, these ladders are huge. If I can't just tell you, if you're not looking at how the figure compared to the ladder, when you have this pack, you're going to see what I'm talking about. I mean, these ladders are tall, and they make for a lot of great action but man let's get to the meat and bones of this review which is none other than the hardy so let's go ahead and start it off with the broken one or should i say the ww version of the woken one as they call it matt hardy and i'm gonna bring this in so you guys can see the head scan on matt man that is unbelievable they capture every single detail of matt hardy I love the hair on the back, as you guys can tell. It has that blonde going around it. Just overall in the pants. I'm going to open this. There you go. Look at the pants. All oh, the detail. I mean, until you have this figure in front of you so that you can actually see it. All this silver detail they put all around the figure. It's amazing. I mean, there's no loose pieces on this figure. The torso, everything is tight and nice. I mean, you you cannot ask for a better Matt Hardy figure than this right here I mean it's just amazing I love the detail I can't wait to get another one of this sets I'm looking to customize it and make it into like you know the old school kind of Matt Hardy because I did 
made myself a custom Matt Hardy before I was able to get this pack. And uh, this is it. Uh, this is the Matt Hardy I had before that. And I'm going to show you the head scan, how different it is. It does not have that blonde going. So this is like, you know, the Ruthless Aggression Matt Hardy era. You know, the version 1 kind of Matt Hardy with the elbow pads and... You know the the shoes that he's now uh, not wearing anymore because as you can tell um, from the new Mattel one he only has them all in black on the shoes there's no more of that detail that Jeff has he Jeff still kept that but Matt didn't so that's the difference uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a custom like of this with that attire for the version one Matt Hardy and I'm going to share those pictures with you guys but now let's look at the guy that everybody wants to get the whole reason of this pack is they want jeff hardy the charismatic enigma jeff hardy and man can i tell you that there is detail on this figure look at the sleeves on this shirt let's start off with that i mean if if, if you want to see detail look at the sleeves on this shirt white uh belt white on the shoes and now we are going to get onto the part where the head scan. Look at this. That is point on accuracy of Jeff Hardy. You can, no matter what angle you're looking at, because some figures like the Rollins, when you put them on a side on the new head, does not look like Rollins. But this figure, no matter the way you look at it, it's Jeff Hardy. Uh, look at those tattoos on his neck. Has that demon on this side. I don't know if you get there it is. And now on the other side, there it is. Overall, man, this figure, oh my God, as well as the Matt Hardy is not, you know, too uh, loose, it's not too hard, it's just perfect for you to display in whichever way you want. I mean, these figures, I rate them a complete solid 10 out of 10. They got to be the top figures in my collection at this moment. I mean, until I get that new Jeff Hardy that's coming out, the Elite 57, and the Rollins. I mean, this figures, you know, they got to take it. They got to take the first place in my collection room as of right now. Uh, I will also review the Festival of Friendship. I will show you guys uh, how those figures look. I have not gotten a chance to open them. That's another epic moment set that I still need to review. But for now, I hope you guys liked the review. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. And uh, I will be seeing you guys on my next video. Hopefully, it will be the Festival of Friendship. I'm also thinking about doing a uh, room tour again since I'm going to be moving my room around. I needed to get a new uh, bookshelf because I'm running out of space on some of my figures. So I have to add that on and I have to move a couple things. So I will show you how that looks. I'm also going to do a count of how many figures I have, which I don't even know myself. I need to do that. I need to count them all, and we're going to do it together, and I'm going to upload that here on YouTube. But for now, it's been Gizmo305. I hope you guys enjoy the review, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.